Now let's talk about ERP components related to language. You can read about these components in the chapter that Tamara Swab's lab wrote for the Oxford Handbook of ERP Components. The most famous language-related ERP component is the N400. Here's an example of a classic N400 paradigm, which was originally developed by Marta Kudis and Steve Hilliard. In this paradigm, sentences are presented visually, one word at a time, while the EEG is being recorded. Subjects just read the sentences. For example, the subject might see a sentence like, I take my coffee with cream and sugar. This is the ERP waveform elicited by the word sugar at the end of the sentence. Time zero is the onset of the final word in the sentence, and we're looking at the brain's response to that word. Of course, these are artificial data, not the real thing. We might also have a sentence like the one shown at the bottom of the screen here. I take my coffee with cream and dog. If the meaning of the last word doesn't fit well with the rest of the sentence, you get a very different brain response. The initial sensory processing is the same for the two words, but the semantically incongruous word elicits this big N400 wave, peaking around 400 milliseconds after the onset of the word. The N400 appears to reflect the work your brain is doing as it tries to figure out what the word is and how it fits into the sentence. If more work is needed, you get a larger N400. And the size of the N400 for a given word reflects the extent to which that word can be predicted from the preceding context. As a result, you don't need bizarre sentences like, I take my coffee with cream and dog to see the N400. For example, I place my keys on the kitchen floor is a perfectly reasonable thing to say, but floor is somewhat unexpected, so it would give you a medium-sized N400. If the sentence ended in table, that would be more expected, so table would elicit only a small N400. Words can also elicit an N400 even if they don't occur in a sentence. For example, in a semantic priming experiment, nurse would elicit a large N400 if preceded by an unrelated word like tree, but not if preceded by a related word like doctor. These effects can also be seen when people listen to natural speech rather than reading words on a computer monitor. The general idea is that every word you see or hear generates some amount of N400, with a larger amplitude to the extent that the word can't be predicted from what came before it. For example, in this famous quote from John Lennon, the first word is completely unpredictable and would generate a large N400. The next word, is, is a little more predictable and would generate a smaller N400. By the time you've read, life is what happens, when is pretty predictable and would generate a smallish N400. And by the time you get to the end of the sentence, plans is highly predictable and would generate very little N400. But keep in mind that the N400 is about the predictability of the meaning not about syntactic predictability. If we make the sentence grammatically incorrect by changing making into make, you wouldn't get an N400 to make. Instead, you'd get a different component called P600.